Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Mal Zero and this is Dangin Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we played we found out who the killer was. It's Leon and now we have to prove that it was him. So now we need to find evidence. So let's get the evidence. It's the thing I found on the ground in front of the incinerator, right? Uh it is do 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 in front of the burnt shirt. そうけ頃の前に落ちてた歪札の燃えかすのことだよねおそらく犯人は前園さんを刺し殺した際にかその返り血を浴びた歪札を処分するためにそれを焼却炉に放り込んだのよその際に燃えかすを残してしまったのです
そうやって焼却炉の火をつけたところでそこに丸めたワイシャツを投げ込んだんだよおい何言ってんだよ犯人の鉄格子の中に入っていないことは証拠隠滅後の状況が物語っているわ割れたガラス玉つけっぱなしの焼却炉の火掃除当番が犯人ならもっと丁寧に証拠を隠滅しているはずよいやちょっと待てってでもさ鉄格子から焼却炉までって10メートル以上は離れてたよねそんな距離からガラス玉を投げてピンポイントでスイッチに当てるなんてそんなこと本当にできるのかなそうだそうだそんなの不可能に決まってんじゃん難しいかもしれないけど不可能じゃないはずだよ It would have been much of a challenge for it all for the killer Wait, hold on It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because he's the ultimate baseball star だって犯人は超高校級の野球選手だったからそうだよね桑田君あバカ言ってんじゃんねって確かに超高校級の野球選手と称される彼なら<笑>ふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ何が終わりだってんだよ桑田君君が何と言おうと全ての謎はもう解けてるんだ今回の事件の答えはこれだ The closing argument is about to begin Would you like to hear more? Not at all This is like putting together a comic strip But uh Oh it's a little bit harder Be next 君なんだ最初から事件を振り返ってみよう昨日の夜犯人は前園さんがいる部屋つまり交換した僕の部屋に行ったんだおそらく前園さんはその人物を殺すつもりで部屋に呼んだんだよそして彼女はあらかじめ用意していた厨房の包丁でその人物に襲いかかったんだその人物が僕の部屋に置いてあったのび刀で反撃してきたんだその攻防の末のび刀の攻撃によって前園さんは右手首を骨折してしまってそこで包丁を奪われてしまったんだ追い詰められた前園さんは慌ててシャワールームに逃げ込んだ犯人はすぐに後を追ったけどなぜかシャワールームのドアは開かなかった僕の部屋のシャワールームはドアの立て付けが悪くてコツを知らないと開けることができなかったんだ前園さんは僕が教えたから知ってたけどもちろん犯人はそれを知らなかったそれでも犯人は何とかドアをこじ開けそして奪った包丁で。そのさんを刺したんだ,だけど前園さんは残った力でその場にダイイングメッセージを残した犯人に気づかれないように自分の背中側の壁にねだけどそこで彼女は力尽きてしまったんだ前園さんを殺した後犯人は慌てて証拠隠滅に取り掛かったまず帰り地のついたシャツを脱ぎ<音声>そして僕の部屋にあったクリーナーで部屋中を徹底的に掃除した自分が部屋を訪れたという痕跡を消すためにね
その後犯人は脱いだワイシャツを処分するためにトラッシュルームへと向かったそこにある焼却炉で帰り道のついたワイシャツを燃やそうとしたんだよだけどトラッシュルームは鉄格子で封鎖されてて焼却炉に近づくことができなかったそこで犯人が使ったのは葉隠れ君がランドリーに置き忘れていたガラス玉だったんだ犯人は鉄格子の隙間からガラス玉を投げることで焼却炉のスイッチを入れたんだ普通の人なら不可能に近い発想だけどでも犯人にはそれを可能にする自信があった犯人は超高校級の野球選手だったからなんだ正確なコントロールで投げられたガラス玉は焼却炉のスイッチに当たりそして焼却炉は稼働を始めた<音声>こうして証拠を隠滅した犯人も安心しすぐにトラッシュルームを後にしただけどそこには誤算があったんだ投げ込んだワイシャツの一部が焼却炉から焼け落ちてしまったんだよそしてそれが決定的な証拠となってしまうことに犯人は気づくことができなかった<音声>そうだよね桑田レオン君あのガラス玉は。ハガクレ君がランドリーに忘れたものらしいけど桑田君はシャツの血を洗い流そうと向かったランドリーでそれを見つけたんじゃないのそしてその時今の方法を思いついたどうなの桑田君何か反論はある反論はあるよあるあるあるに決まってんだろうがつうか今のって全部推論だろ証拠がねえじゃねえか証拠がいや証拠がなけりゃただのでっち焼けだそんなもん認めねえぞ苗木君だったら教えてあげるといいわ彼が犯人だという証拠をねあなたはその証拠を持っているはずよ I have the evidence? f o r t h bullet time battle is about to begin I'd like to hear yeah sure let's find out Oh, the god, the rhythm game thing. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you engage them in a head to head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB, by the way. <laughs>、uh, I like that. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Back it, back it, back it, back it. Watch your buttons presses in each temple marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Then you can tap the button, the,、uh, the bottom right section of the screen. That's gonna be harder. Tap or press the X button to lock on to an opponent's statement. s o r t of the statement you've,、uh, you've locked onto with the triangle button as the tempo marker reaches the center. You can also destroy the statement by tapping the screen. Use this method to deal real damage to your opponent. If you can pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Tempo up! This consecutive, you'll start a combo. Keep up scoring and initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll, into a, you'll go into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button or tapping the screen. So watch out for that. Final strike! Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At that point, you can press triangle to shoot it down with the truth bullet, like any other statement. You can also tap the screen to shoot it. If you throw a statement fast enough, and you'll come out victorious. Just like before, if your first game reaches zero, you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. <laughs> Let's go! I'm going to go to the door of the door. I'm going to go to 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 the door. They used something on their own to remove the screws. Could it have been? I'm going to go to the door. I'm going to go to the door. I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Here we go, bull time battle. BTB, the BTB does. The moment of truth. 
Okay, uh, gotta, gotta do that. Hold on, lock on. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, now I remember. Oh, rhythm games. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, bro. You can't beat me. Yeah. Guys, tempo it up. Got a combo. Get those combos. Combos. Yeah. Final striker. The toolkit.現場の触るームのドアノブはネジが外されてたけどさ犯人はそのネジを外すって言ったらドライバーだろだったら配られた工具セットの中にあったべあれを使ったんでしょうな他に工具などありませんでしたしだけど僕の部屋にあった工具セ
Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 come on. Did you expect to just accept my death? Everything become clear. Everything's become clear. The decision was made right after all. But when I think about it, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if we, if what we came up with was really is the truth. And the truth is that Saiko was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If it was her, if I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. I can't afford to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have seen, to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. Boy, howdy. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Okay, dokie. She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. What, what did you say? <sighs> I understand. Really, I do. Yup, yup. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us! This is all your fault! Saika being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault! Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... As angry as I was, Kyoko lashed onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough it was sure it would leave a bruise. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Okie dokie! Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. Okay. Just barely avoiding punishment, you did. Hi. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Oh, I, I, I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. That's when you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her. Am I wrong? You had any number of chances to stop when you were doing but you chose not to. It's because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder. No, no, that's not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh, are you sure? You're closer to than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I didn't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Huh? If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. 
After all, if people with the sort of mentality that perpetuate that uh what that per perpetuate war all over the world <laughs> is that the kind of justice that awaken within you just shut up <laughs> okay well anyway more importantly <laughs> let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for the punishment <laughs> i'm begging you please don't do this <laughs> No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Damn, that's brutal, man. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? <laughs> man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control. <laughs> Do we really need to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Yeah. Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> oh, you're not going to say this scene? You're going to say all of the other scenes where it closes up on your face? Okay, Monokuma, be consistent, bro. All you got to do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Man, fuck you! What the? Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful secret society type of guy. Or in the case of dark, awful secret society type of bear. Uh, why are you so? Why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through a, such a grueling ordeal? I know, ne. It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. It just didn't think it's possible. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't think we're what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. <laughs> so nice. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to pound your ass into the ground. Whoa. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? 
But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course, you can't free out of the outside world being trapped in this, this same place. Hmm? You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, you think your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What are you trying to say? No. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Anyway, let's get the Blackened's punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. No. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I have got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just... Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered in my ear. naegi -kun. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Mm -hmm. I told you before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. So Sayaka meant to double cross you, that's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision, that's why. As she, lied, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you could know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? Soreba. The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Tashikani. That's certainly one possibility. But I think that's what it, what I think that's what it was. Tonikaku. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. So? It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. How can we even throw Junko in there? So? Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I can never do that. No. I want to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> Well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. No. Nah. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Chapter 1, To Survive! End! The end. Not the end of the game. How many people are dead? Three people died in chapter one. Three. <laughs> to be continued. 
All right. Yeah, I got the despair bat. Whatever that is. I want to save the game. Yeah. All right. So that's chapter one. We're going to move on to chapter two next time.